I'm back where I left off yesterday. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's currently raining. Um, yesterday when I was flying that drone around, I think the temperature was, it started off around zero degrees Fahrenheit, which is like, what, negative 18 degrees Celsius or something. And then slowly warmed up throughout the day, I think. By the time I like drove home, it was like in the mid 20s. Uh, and I thought it was gonna be similar today. I didn't really look at the weather to be fair, which is kind of stupid on my part, but I thought it was gonna be similar today. And it's not. It is currently 40 degrees and it is raining. But I'm gonna fish it anyway, because I'm dedicated to the idea of trying to catch fish in this type of weather. I'm gonna basically use this as a learning experience, see if I can catch anything. And just kind of like a challenge, because I'm kind of a weekend warrior. I mean, like I have a regular job, so it's not like I can go out and fish tomorrow when the weather's better. So I'm pretty much stuck out here toughing it out, trying to hopefully maybe catch a fish for you guys. Fingers crossed the fishing isn't completely atrocious. So I'm gonna get my waders on and hit the creek. Let's go guys! <laughs> I caught a little rainbow! Holy cow, this water's so cold. Like it's shocking. I just instantly lost feeling in my hands. Caught a little rainbow. So I put on a little, um, I'll show you the nymph in a second. Put on a little like really lime green, like bright nymph. And then I have a stone fly. But it, I'm gonna show this fish off real quick. Look at this thing. Oh my God, this water's horrible. Look at that little guy. Focus, focus, look at him, look at him. Living his best life. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the camera and get this guy released. And maybe I'll catch another one. Woo hoo hoo, I didn't think I was gonna catch anything, I was so happy. <laughs> All right, so I didn't catch anything else in that hole. I'm just gonna show you quickly what I'm using. So, one is this uh, stonefly. I think it's size like 14-ish. Mm, uh, tungsten so I can get it down because the water is a little bit faster than normal and then I got this green nymph which is what I caught that fish on hold on I got to figure out a better way to do this it's smaller it's probably size 16 or 18 or something I don't even know what the hell it is I actually got it at a, uh, I actually got it at an Andrews box I stole it from when we were in Georgia last weekend um, so I'm gonna keep fishing I caught one fish out of that hole I probably could change and probably could try to catch more, but I don't think I'm gonna catch more than one fish out of a hole in this condition anyway, period. So, let's keep going. Got me a little rainbow, look at him. Hey buddy. How you doing? Chill? Let's introduce ourselves. Whoa. Look at that. Cute little wild rainbow. I think he's unhooked. I might as well just go ahead and release him right here. Go on. Turn right. You got this? What a champion. Yeah, I mean, as you guys can see, it's a pretty sizable hole. He's sitting on this right side in the deepest pocket.
Look at this boy. Same hole as that other one. He's loose. I'm gonna head and hold, try to hold him up for you guys. Look at that. Look at the colors on that fish. Is that not incredible? In the snow? A wintertime brook trout? The colors on that fish are just incredible too. Woo! So, I think I'm finally starting to dial in what the fish are eating. Both the flies that I have on right now are working. Um, I just missed one right down there that I wasn't recording for and then I just missed, I caught this brook trout that I still wasn't recording for. I don't know why I haven't learned my lesson, but part of the issue is, is I forgot my GoPro. Well, I have my GoPro, but I don't have an SD card for it, so it's pretty much useless. So, I'm trying to film everything with the big camera and to film with the big camera, I have to get it all set up and I just, uh, I'm being lazy. But anyway, I'm gonna set this camera up, try to fish this next little run, hopefully catch one for you guys. Pretty little bow. He's not a mega giant, but I'm happy with it. Can you, can you come here? Look at that guy. The colors on that fish are incredible. A little bit of wintertime snow fun right there. Thanks, buddy. I might go catch another one out of there. It's a pretty deep little run there. This hole, I actually remember, like I fished it. Um, Probably catch another one out of there. That one was kind of a little bit further sitting back in here, but I think usually there's a couple laying right in there, so we'll see. Little brookie, or sorry, not brookie, little rainbow. Cut out of that same hole. Go ahead and let him go. So I know you guys for sure couldn't see what just happened. Well, I set the camera up to face up to this big hole. And when I was walking up there, there's like a little pocket to the side. I dropped my nymph in there and was literally walking. When I picked up my rod to go up to the next hole, I caught a brook trout. Wow! <laughs> when you fish in conditions like this, every fish is like a treat. But I'm gonna show you guys this fish real quick. Hey guys, look at this little fella here. Decided to come play in some rather tough conditions. Look at that. Little snow brook trout. You don't get to catch that too often, to be honest with you. Decent fish for sure. Look at him, look at him, look at him. So, um, I think I'm gonna end it here. Mostly because, A, it's not super late, it's four o'clock, but um, I don't want it to get too dark because the temperature's supposed to drop and I don't want to drive on icy roads on the way home. Uh, Second of all, the creek, as I thought, is raising rapidly and starting to get a little off colored. And uh, the fish, fishing is kind of turned down, turned off pretty much. Um, but I had probably 
one of the better days I've had on this creek. I'm not even kidding. I mean, I probably caught 15, 20 fish maybe. I know I didn't record for all of them, mostly because I was sick of setting up this stupid camera and then fishing. I just wanted to fish myself. So I got the releases on a queue that were like particularly colorful or something like that. But it was incredible. It really was. And I don't know why it was so good. Um, I assume it was because the water's raising because the water's like, I'd guess the water tends to probably sitting around 35 degrees. I mean, there's ice floating by. Um, the edges of the creek have ice on them. The snow's melting into it. So there's really no warmth to be had other than the fact that it's probably 40 degrees right now. 30, high 30s, maybe 40. That's really the only warm part of the day. I mean, I'm drenched. I'm soaking wet to the bone pretty much. Oh, and the flies, by the way, greeny. Anything green worked today. Uh, I had, a greenie, I had one greeny weenie that I used for a little bit and caught a crap ton of fish on it before I lost it. And then I changed this to a bunch of other green flies that all pretty much worked. Um, but I tried also like a couple red flies and stuff like that and they did not want anything but green, which was weird. Uh, and they ate, they really liked uh, Prince Nymph was another thing they ate. So I'm not gonna question it, that's just what they were eating. But yeah, cold, freaking freezing cold day and I caught fish against all odds I'd say. So. I guess that kind of proves my point. I don't know. It could also be part in part because nobody fishes this time of the year, so the last person to fish this creek was, well, who knows? I mean, there sure as heck isn't any footprints on the creek. And it's a pretty pressured stream, so. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm soaking wet, the camera's soaking wet. I gotta put everything away, and I'm gonna hike the heck out of here, so. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I quite literally risked life and limb um, to get the B-roll and the drone shots that you saw in like the first minute of the video. All that was shot the day before the actual video was filmed and the roads were horrible. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have been out, but I was. Um, so like the video for that alone. Second of all, I'm gonna announce the giveaway winner. But first I wanted to say that it was brought to my attention that there were some like scammers in the comments for this giveaway. Um, and first of all, I just wanted to say that, A, I'm never going to ask you for money for anything on a giveaway. B, I'm not going to make a new account to reach out to you for a, to, to tell you that you're a winner. I mean, that makes no sense. So if it's not coming from my official account, then it's probably not real. And C, um, I blocked, deleted, reported that channel uh, like a billion times. And YouTube was just really slow on picking it up. And normally I would ignore stuff like that. But I got some nasty comments saying that basically I was scamming people, which is like nowhere near the truth. And quite frankly, I don't have control over, you know, who comments on the videos because I get quite a few comments. So for me to look through every one of them um, is pretty tough. I try to look through them and reply to them. And I think I'm pretty decent with it. But at the same time, I do have a full time job and <laughs> I do this for fun. So, uh, yeah, just be aware of stuff like that online, just in general. If anybody's ever asking you for money, you probably shouldn't, probably shouldn't give it to them, stuff like that. So anyway, I just wanted to address that. Uh, so anyway, let's get, into the, let's get into the giveaway winner. The winner is, bang, it should pop up like right over here somewhere. Full disclosure, I do know Will. Um, so I used, I used like a third party, like a, a random giveaway drawing thingy online. And I think there was like almost 600 different comments. So he won legitimately purely legitimately and I do know him so I've already reached out to him talked to him I told him he won the rod he's super hype about it so I'm gonna give him the rod uh, part of me when I saw that someone that I kind of knew won that I was like oh I shouldn't I should like skip and go to the next person but then I guess it's not really a random drawing giveaway is it I mean if he legitimately won then he legitimately deserves the rod so anyway he won congrats Will Woo, yeah, now we got all that crap out of the way. That was a lot, it was a lot. I'm sorry, this video is like dragged on now for absolutely no reason. But uh, one last thing I absolutely have to mention is that there are gonna be more giveaways here coming up very soon. Um, I have a catch cam net that I'm gonna give away, a brand new 2022 catch cam net that I'm gonna give away. I'm probably gonna do this giveaway through Instagram. So if you're not followed on Instagram, go follow Instagram because I'm probably gonna do it on there in light of the recent scam YouTube comments and just the annoyance of having to deal with this whole thing. So go follow me on Instagram. I will announce the giveaway on here, but it's gonna be on Instagram. Um, and then I have at least one other giveaway coming up. 
that's gonna be on YouTube here probably might be by the end of the month, but it might be even be February before it comes out. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and for all the support that you've shown me over the last like month or so. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures.